Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and get this video started because I think it might be a little bit longer. Okay, so I got something in the mail that I've ordered. I'm really, really excited about it. It's gonna be a little bit of a DIY for me. Um, I wanted to share it with you and, along with the process because I think it might be something kind of cool to share. So I'm gonna twist this right back here. Do you guys see, um, so there behind me is uh, the little shelving stuff that I got from Belk, and then right next to it, uh, this thing says Belk Beauty. Um, I do have a friend of mine, her name is uh, Jadan. Hi Jadan, sweetie. Uh, she is, uh, She's when she sees that, she's like, we need to figure out a way to put a uh, Laurel Bell on that, and I'm like, no. I want the Belt Beauty to show. Uh, so I, who knows, that might say Laurel sometime in the future because this is now Laurel's Lair. So we'll see how that goes. But um, beyond that, you'll see like a coach bag. Now that bag is uh, from a very dear friend of mine and uh, she just got it pre-loved and I'm going to uh, kind of give that a freshener for her and uh, return that back. I'm real excited to be able to help her out. But beyond that bag, there is like a black dress silhouette with a hanger and then there's uh, like some shiny things that you see in there. That is um, like a necklace and earring organizer and it is overflowing and full. And if you spin that around, there are some necklaces that hang there and everything's in pouches. I have um, like a couple of um, small containers that have Ziploc bags where I have taken jewelry and I have Ziplocked it so they don't kind of get, st like they don't crinkle into each other. So I have a jewelry storage issue and problem that I needed help with. I was looking through Amazon a couple of days ago and I found the, and I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, it's Langria, L-A-N-G-R-I-A. I, I, Langria, I don't know. Um, we'll say it's one of those two. And they had a wonderful, like a jewelry, a mirror jewelry organizer. And I was so excited about it. It's freestanding and it's a full length mirror. You open it up. I know you guys have probably seen it. I've seen it a million times on a, on various shows. They have some that you hang on the door, some are freestanding. And you know, the time was just right. I started researching, it, it kind of got me into looking. I started researching them on Amazon and, or what's the best one on, uh, on just searching in general. And I ended up really getting the, the Langria Langria one and I'm real excited. It came in and I'm going to have to, I'm going to pause this and then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to show you the box. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to end up putting it together and I'm going to share that experience and journey with you. I hope that that's going to be fun for both of us. I promise to turn it off before I swear. <laughs> Because who knows what will happen. I might have to say things like sons of biscuits. Okay, everyone. So this is the box that it came in and uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. So as you can tell, it has, I think, a lock right there. And I think that that's where the dowels go in to keep it from sliding uh, back on you. So I'm real excited about it. And it kind of looks like the unit itself is like all packed together and I think you just kind of put the legs on it. So I don't foresee this being anything that's too bad. I just really wanted to share my journey with you. So with that, oh see, it's my little toes down there. Um, I actually broke my toe again, this pinky one, so it's kind of taped up and doing its own thing right down there. Um, so I'm gonna put us on pause and I'm gonna pull it out and we'll take a look at what's actually in this box and we'll get started. I'm so excited to do this with you guys. Okay, we've got her out of the box. And while I haven't taken it completely out to see what's on the inside, we can see that it says uh, Langria right there. Oh. Well, how exciting. So what we have is I flipped this unit over so you can see the mirror. And then on this piece of the container, it looks like there's two legs two other things and uh, probably the dowels in there with the bag of, I don't know if you can see it there, the bag of tooly thingies that I'm going to uh, be using to put this together. I'm really excited. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down and read the instructions and I might take a stab at putting maybe the legs on. We'll have to see. I'll do it um, according to 
uh, what we're supposed to do, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so what we're looking at here, we've actually taken the two long pieces and we've connected the two smaller pieces. Really, really simply to do. It's just a series of putting in dowels and then um, one of these items, it's that metal piece that, you know, the, uh, the screw goes into that and it kind of locks it in place. It, you know, it was really, really simple, took maybe five minutes to do. Now I think the next thing is to actually pick up the mirror and place it in between these two when I think that there's just some more screwing uh, to, to go in on either side. And I'll be right back. My dear friends, I got it up very, very simple. What I did was I laid it down on the ground. I wanna show you something real quickly. See those two rows of wood that I showed you a little bit earlier? I thought that this would actually sit above it, but it does and it kinda of sits almost on it a little bit. So I wanted to share that. I laid this on the ground and I moved this and then that little piece under it so I could get everything aligned. Set it up really, really uh, quickly and easily. I'm about to place the dowels in here. You'll see, uh, let me see if I can hold the camera and uh, move it at the same time here. Those are the three holes where you can put a dowel and kind of situate this wherever you want it to be. I am simply uh, just going to place it on that last one. I don't I don't need to have it like facing a certain way. Here is the front of it. I'm not gonna stand in front of it because I wanted to get comfortable so I look a hot mess right about now. But I'm gonna put it where it needs to be, um, over where the belk sign was. You'll see the belk sign is now missing, so I'm gonna put it over there. And I'm gonna get it opened up and I'm gonna show you guys. I'll be right back. I'll show you real quickly. I don't know if I'm gonna tip it this way or not. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't wanna, um, I don't know, I just didn't want to show really anything other than this is what it looks like. I don't know what it's the, the final uh, resting place of it's going to be, but I think it's going to fit there just fine. I think it looks really nice. So let's get this puppy open. Also to share, I know, I, I don't know if I told you actually or not, but it does have a locking system. I, now I, I'm going to tell you, I think that it keeps the honest person honest. But I think that in the case of a robbery situation, uh, this is definitely getting broken into. So, you know, and I also have to say really my jewelry for the most part is nothing other than costume jewelry. So I'm not really worried too much about it. The other stuff is as well hidden in a safe. Okie dokie. All right, here it is. I stepped back because I wanted to let you see what it looks like open. And I know that people have talked about uh, a smell that's in there. I gotta tell you, I kinda like the smell, so I've been sniffing it. So I'm gonna come in closer, I'm gonna show you what's in here. I'm going to leave some wording above so it will share what, like, like the amount that it will actually hold. But right up here, this is for the earrings and it has for the loops and then the posts. Really excited, so it has pairs. I don't know why it's separated here, but hey, I'm gonna try not to OCD focus on that. So there's actually several as it goes down. Right here is a bar for bracelets, and then down here you have a section that holds like all like necklaces, quite a few sections for necklaces. I'm really excited because you know I've got those, the belt earring and necklace combinations. I'm real excited about getting those out because I do have quite a plethora of them. Then over here, right up at the top, you'll see that these are little ring slots. I'm real excited about that. Looks like there, I don't, I really truly don't have that many rings, but there'll be room to grow, right? Hey, if I have more room, if I build it, they will come. <laughs> So look forward to getting some more. We have another section here for necklaces. The thing that I like about this is I have some long necklaces. They have this lovely pouch that kind of will keep like over here, not over here. But I could put my long ones over here and let it sit in there and it's not going to go wonky and, and hang all over the place. Real excited about that. Then we have this section down here that has just a bunch of shelves. I'm going to kind of come in closer. Can you see those ridges right here? And then I think they have like one, two, three down here. Those are just little compartments that you can kind of try to organize in there. I'm real excited. I think maybe like the Tiffany boxes, that kind of thing can go in there. I'm real excited. And then just to be followed up by these little drawers down here. Now, the drawers really didn't mean anything to me. The reason why I ended up with the drawer was simply because it held 
more earrings and necklaces. So really that was the only reason for my decision on that. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe and I look forward to chatting with you again very soon. Take care. Have a great day.